Welcome to the Football Today podcast. We are breaking down the second half of the Euro 2024 groups, as well as our predictions and overall thoughts as to who's going to win the whole damn thing. I'm your host, Alex Donnelly, joined once again by the stats guy, Liam McCallion. Are you going to say anything about my kit this time? No, it's you're... still terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it. You've got to add it as, look like a goalie, so why not? Great. <laughs> Good job. Hey, Marcus, how are you? Well, we're all wearing the same clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. It's weird. It's not like, <laughs> Two days later. It's not like we started a recording straight after we did I, the first I, I actually one. sleep in here. You, uh, that's where I live here. No wonder yeah. you don't pay rent. <laughs> uh, anyway, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like there. Get around the socials as well. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. And listen, wherever you get your podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, all that good stuff, give us a five-star rating. Leave a review, please, even though it could be saying you hate Stats Guys Kit. Uh, Karen McCallion, please leave a lovely one for us as well. We are doing <laughs> your best to keep Liam happy. Anyway, today we will break down groups D, E, and F, and then we will give you our overall winner and a knockout stages breakdown. And also, like, you know, play to watch, break out, all that good stuff that comes with uh, just trying to predict the future. Yep. Anyway, Why not? we had the year now in the previous episode, which is Will England Bring Football Home? You can listen to that preview show, uh, preview show, which is in the link somewhere in the comments. I don't know. Gerald will link it for me. He knows <laughs> what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's get rolling into groups D, E, and F. I've got Group D, Ooh. Austria ranked 25th in the world, the French second in the world, Netherlands seventh, and Poland 28th. This group rules. Honestly, yeah, the French and Dutch should go through, but this is going to be fun to watch. You've got Ralph Ragnick in charge of Austria. That's going to be cool. <laughs> and can Bobby Lewandowski finally do something for Poland? He's now Bobby Probably Lewandowski as, as well, far it, as I'm concerned. I know we say do something for Poland. He doesn't, there's been a lot of tournaments where he hasn't got enough chances. Like, I know. I think they had like two shots a couple of games, but yeah, he could do a bit of, bit of damage in this group. It's a, it's actually a pretty clo close group, this one. Yep. All right, let's start off with Austria, who were the Group F runner-ups up, runner to get through. 1-6, drew one, lost one. No David Alaba, who has not got over Ooh, his injury, which so good. sucks. Yeah. Uh, this is the fourth Euros that they've only, that they've played in, which is wild to me. Their best result was a round of 16 in 2020. Italy bounced them out there. Look, good team, not a great team. You have a look. Probably no superstars, but Sabitzer has been great this year for Dortmund and even Lima from Bain. But other than that, you have a look at him just go, it's a bunch of dudes. It's all the guys Sabitzer that used to be on loan at United. Yeah, he did actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. The, and they'll be very well coached and well structured because I really rate Ralph Ragnick. I think he's great. He was completely correct about everything he said when he was at Manchester he, well, United. He was actually, yeah, yeah. proven yeah. right with everything. And that structure wasn't put in place. Bayern Munich wanted him. He sta stayed true here to Austria. Mm -hmm. um, I look at him going to be like, okay, they're fun to play, but you have a look. It's like, as their best, the goals it's well. probably on the right-hand <laughs> side through Lima to make yeah. most of the play. Yeah. Yep. With Sibitzer on the left flank, but... I know, there's no, nothing outstanding. No, no, they've just got a lot of guys. They probably play well together. They'll play to a B every game. Yeah. yeah. And it's whether or not draws possible. everyone else can play to an A to beat them. Yeah. Okay. They've got a lot of average players. They don't have superstars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately. Because Alaba's out. Alaba literally was playing left, back, left, mid, yeah. center, mid striker. Like, he was doing playing it all. Well, they've got like a 40 year old Mikel Arnautovic on the bench. Yeah. So. Bring, bring him on. Bring him on. He'll probably get a lot of minutes. Yeah. I think. He's, so, he's anyway, experienced. Not much else to say about Austria. Kit rating, four of 10. Oh, you're pretty yeah. harsh on the kit ratings throughout got, this. Mate, got to stay true to what I believe in. I know uh, if you don't say. Uh, I'll, say, I'll keep it for when we say the Netherlands, but yeah. Great I think podcasting if you, if stats. You don't say, if you don't say they're the best one, then I'm going to have to fire you on that one, I think. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to go? No. Want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Step up and have a crack in the plate, son. All right. Let's talk, about, let's talk about the French. They are the Group B winners. They absolutely dominated. 29 goals uh, scored, a three led in. They are the two-time winners of this tournament. They're the World Cup champions and runners-up in their past two World Cups, so they are flung. But they got bounced out in the round of 16 in 2021, which was 2020. Well, but, they're not the most recent World Cup champions, but they are World yeah, Cup Yeah, so World Cup champions, and they were the runners-up at the most recent World Cup. Yep. Yes. So it's like last yes. two World Cups, they've kicked us. Yep. Uh, Didier Deschamps has a ridiculously awesome squad headlined by Real Madrid's newest player, Kylian Mbappe. That also happened mm -hmm. in the last few days. So quickly, thoughts and vibes on that. I think it's boring. He was but, always going to go there. I think, yeah, Real, Real Madrid really needed Mbappe. They've only won a Champions yeah. League. They've only won and, yeah. six of the last yeah. ten yeah. Champions yeah. Yeah, that's so the only league. club in the world that could get him. Yeah. It's it's boring. Their team is going to be amazing. you got Vinny Jr. was just killing the Rodrigo Champions League. Rodrigo Mbappe, Vinny. Oh, my God. That is Bellingham. Ridiculous. And then you got oh, Bellingham. Bellingham. Got it's going to be great when Trent Alexander-Arnold goes there in the oh. summer, too. What? It's been chatter. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't think he will. Anyway. That's too scouser. much of a scouser, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's boring. <laughs> it I know, is. like, if... It's a fail if he doesn't win a Champions League in the first two years. 
Yeah. It'd be funny or, if they just yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't win by I think that would be hilarious. It's like go to go to a go to a Liverpool, go to even Chelsea, Arsenal, like a club that at the well, moment the, hasn't broken through at Europe. Yeah, like at afford, that big level. Afford. I know they can't afford it, but it's like go challenge yourself, dude. You're gonna make money anyway. <laughs> like in Real Madrid have won eight or nine more Champions Leagues than any other club. Yeah, yeah, eight. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> and they got Camavinga as well in midfield, another young Chua Yeah. Oh, oh, so. well, let's just keep talking about this trench team. They're Ka- all French. Camavinga, yeah. Chua Mani, uh, <laughs> uh, who else you got? You got Greg Griezmann there. You've also got uh, Kunde, William Saliba, Kanada, and then you've also got Zaya Emery, who's a player who could just absolutely explode if Didier Deschamps lets him. Yep. 50 bucks says William Saliba doesn't start in the first game. Anyone going to take me on there? Didn't he Shams doesn't he, loves he, loves he loves Kanate. And uh, Upa Meccano. Mm. Has he never watched William Saliba <laughs> play for Arsenal? <laughs> oh, and wants man. to pick Kanate ahead of him. That's probably the best centre half in the world, Saliba. Yeah, and he's not going to start he's for fresh, start, yeah. which I don't mind as an Arsenal, Arsenal just fan. Just like, keep him on ice. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Look, Jules Kunde can play at centre back yeah. too. Mm. So. Uh, also, well. th- this line we've got has Hernandez there, but he's not. He snapped his cruciate ligament. So. Oh, it's Australia. Yeah. In the World Cup. Is he still injured from that? No, 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 that's no, a new no. one. That's a new injury. No, he, I swear he was played. Was it the other he No, it's the guy from um, AC Milan. He played mm. the yeah, other night yeah, in yeah. Perth. Yeah, who was he the, scored? No, who was the, who was? There was another Hernandez that like oh. Matthew Lecky actually actually broke his knee. Oh. Up, up did his ACL. Good stuff, Matthew Lecky. No, anyway, no, not um, good stuff. <laughs> yes, Matthew Lecky rules. Scored was that, that first goal? goal. Yeah, yeah. Good scored. he scored for Milan the other day. What are you guys on about? Yeah, there's two Hernandez. Okay, okay. Yeah, but for anyway, let's get to the important part: the fact that N'Golo Kante got a slot here but Michael Elise didn't yeah but N'Golo Kante is the nicest guy in the world N'Golo Kante <laughs> is playing in Saudi Arabia and ha- j- his body is broken and Michael Elise has been one of the <laughs> most informed players in the world in the last three months yeah, no, I agree maybe is it is it a sort of thing where it's like make your mind up who you want to represent because there's rumours well, of England that's because he didn't get picked for this mm. whereas Thierry Henry's like I'll pick Michael Elise for the Olympics Come on, come play. Yeah. He's like, yes, yeah, sick. Mm. So he's playing for France in the Olympics. That, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, why wouldn't you pick him? It's mm. it's also because Deschamps has literally never gone to the APL to watch a game and he's never sent any of his scouts yeah, to watch any of his really French surprising. players in the APL, yeah. which is wild. Now, what have you found here as you're quickly... You... No, it was just the... Well, so I forgot Lucas, about Lucas, Lucas Hernandez, Hernandez and then he's got Theo Hernandez. Yeah, I forgot there was so the I was brothers. right. They were brothers. Yeah. Lucas Hernandez was the one who got his knee torn in 15 yeah, places. But he's not in this Theo Hernandez. But Theo Hernandez is the one who's not going to be playing. That's right. We got there eventually. France. <laughs> Are the French somewhat stronger than what they were at Qatar? Because uh, I haven't even mentioned Olivier Giroud on the bench. We didn't talk about Fafana. Yeah, uh, I'd, say, I'd say their overall squad more is... More in form, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd say they are, which is more crazy, crazy in form. Because they obviously... Kings of the there too. Like, like, Dembele Jesus on the bench. Christ. Amazing squad. This is, I think, the England and France on paper have the best two squads. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Benjamin Pavard as well. I remember he scored a banger in the... Mm. Was it the World Cup or the Euros? Like... Two lots yeah, of World Cup, I think. No. World Cup, yeah. yeah. They win this tournament, right? They, they just win. I, I have them as well. You both, I don't, but yeah, yeah. we'll get into that. Yeah. Kid rating, seven of ten. That's a bit higher than the other. Let's get to the Dutch, which has Veg Vorhurst up front. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 But then you have a look at, you know, Cody, uh, Gakpo, Xavi Simmons there, Frankie de Jong, uh, Matson, Ake, Virgil van Dijk until it. It's pretty stacked. Yeah. This is an awesome team. Uh, you got Van de Ven on the bench as well. Bench. Memphis Depay oh, as well. So this is a pretty sweet team. Mm. This is going to be so great. Be a fun team. Yeah. But then you've got uh, Frimpong and Verbuggen there. I reckon they run deep. Honestly, this could be like the best defense of the tournament. Yeah. You got yeah, you got Van Dyke, Ake, Delit. No, yeah, but you just go with oh. those three center halves. Ake, Van Dyke, and Delit, and you're just like, oh shit. How we, how we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are we how are you supposed to get through the, the three biggest guys in the whole tournament? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And yeah, the, Martin played in the Champions League final. Yep. Uh Frankie Dion. No, nah, Martin got dropped from the squad. Oh, did he? Yeah, I think he got dropped. Oh. I think. I read that this morning. Oh, that's Poor Martin. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna read Poor that. Poor one out for Martin. You keep talking. Keep uh, talking about yeah. how good the Dutch are. <laughs> they they so are good. very good. They are. They are. Uh, awesome. But Cody Gakpo, uh, like I'm, um, it's just the, again their attack is then Xavi Simons yep. is naturally a centre mid. Yep. Uh, but they're going to look like some of those predicted they're going to push him out wider. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a bit of a struggle. And then yeah, well, of course up top isn't the most. I would yeah. put Gakpo e, up yeah. top. I e could e even play Daniel Marlin up top. E Ian Martin drop. Uh, when Alden got in. Interesting. Uh, I don't yeah. mind that. When Alden's. He's been pretty good. Yeah. So anyway, so Martin Joel, that's mm. a bit stiff. He's been good for he's been he great for Dortmund good. late in the season. Um I think they, they do I think that they do make a deep run in the tournament. 
But he started in the Champions League final. Yeah, as I said, he's been great for Dortmund this year, but he's got yeah. dropped for... Oh, I thought, you, I thought you said he got dropped for the... No, no, no. no he, got, he, got he got dropped, dropped for the Euros. From, he got oh. dropped from the Euros, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I thought you said the Champions League no. squad. I was like, what? Yeah, that's yeah, insane. Okay, yeah. uh, I think well, they make a deep run, but I don't think they win the tournament. I think that lack of firepower up front is what sort of brings them undone in the knockout stages. Yeah. Kit rating, 7 of 10. Oh, oh, that's what I said. I think if you if people want to look it up, they have the coolest kits every single season. But it's also like, do you like the do you want white shorts or do you want the orange shorts? Like, what shorts orange, do you want? Orange, I orange want the white with shorts. the with the fluoro. I just want everything fluoro. Yeah. Looks great. Right, orange guy. <laughs> All right, let's get across to Poland. Robert Lewandowski up front, and you got Peter Zielinski, uh, and then you sort of go have a look through their defensive lineup. It's like Jakub Kivior's there. It's just like okay, Benerik. yeah, and better, yeah. It's like okay, a lot of old guys. Solid, it's just so slow. But it's also <laughs> their fifth straight Euro. Uh, tournament after they had never previously qualified. Yeah, and since they've qualified, just bang, 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 bang. Mm -hmm. They made the quarterfinals in 2016. In the other three tournaments, they finished last in their group. Mm -mm. Not ideal. They had to go through the qualifiers to make this tournament. They beat Wales after beating Estonia. So they've had to do it the hard way. Yeah, Wales are a decent side to beat, so that's Yeah, that's but it doesn't really set them up much. You have a no. look at them. Their defense is probably going to have to keep them in the tournament with Schnezny uh, in goalkeeping, mm -hmm. smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Uh, <laughs> Lucas right, Matty Cash starts a right back. Oh, I forgot yeah. about Matty Cash there, yeah. That's wild, isn't it? And he's, yeah, he, he plays with Poland. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. He's English. Always so, thinking, yeah. Always so good. The most non poland He literally player. looks like Jack Grealish's brother. <laughs> he does. He does, actually, yeah. <laughs> Matty Cash is Jack Grealish's brother. Uh, anyway, but you have <laughs> a look. Yeah, yeah. Solid defense is what's going to get them through because it's they just have, throughout tournament history, have never given Lewandowski enough chances to score. And it's been yeah. as simple as that. It's like, we have this awesome dude, but we can't get him the ball. It's because they don't play wingers. Yeah. And that's gonna that's gonna struggle you. And like they've only got one winger on the bench. Yeah, their so goal scoring saying. has been woeful historically. They all finished last in the group. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you're up. Kit rating two of ten. Whoa. To finish off, they have some playing kits. Yeah. All right, so who goes through? I think the French and the Dutch get through with Austria a chance of being <coughs> third place qualifier. Correct. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think anyone could argue against prediction. that. Yep. <laughs> Stats guy, Group the, E. The correct prediction. All right, Group B. Uh, uh, sorry, E. I don't know why I said B. Group E, got Belgium, who are third in the world. That is, was a bit higher than I, I remembered. One so, of the best kits in the tournament, the Tintin kit. Yeah. Elite. I like their uh, Maroon kit as well. No, nah, really the nice. Tintin kit's elite. Check Ooh. it out. Kit rankings on socials. Yes. Apparently we're doing that now. Yeah, we, we definitely <laughs> yes. will do that. Gutin, Gutin, Gutin. Tin, tin, tin. What's Shout his name? Tim Naki. Tim Naki. Uh, go to punters.com.au for the interview with him. There we go. Uh, Slovakia, 48th ranked. Romania, 46th. Ukraine, 22nd. Belgium, 3rd. Just clearly ahead in the uh, world rankings in this group. Six yep. appearances. I'm going to start with Belgium for this one. Failed to progress out of the group stage in the World Cup in 2022, which was a major disappointment. But remember that? There was that big blob with all of them. They were all wanted right. to fight each other. That's and right. De Bruyne were, and Courtois were like just abusing each other in media interviews. It was yeah, awesome. I forgot about that. So that Lukaku was fat. It was yeah, great. Yeah, <laughs> he's always been a little bit. But uh, yeah, made quarterfinals at the last Euro. So they had a really solid tournament uh, in 2020 or 2021 when the tournament actually got played. Mm. Always up there in the rankings. Always have an amazing squad on paper. Their squad but, rules. Yeah, but it always the defense does. is shocking it, though. They've uh, still got Jan Vertonghen starting at centre back. I was going to say that. I am really a little bit worried. Their attack is awesome because you've got Trossard who I think is uh, uh, underrated. Why you've you got Jeremy half? Doku who should be starting at most Premier League clubs but because he's at Man City he doesn't <coughs> start. <coughs> Flop. No, Doku. <laughs> no, he's, a, he's a jet. He's a jet. I think he's going to have an awesome tournament. Then you've got Lukaku who's been awesome. He's got 14 goals this year for Belgium already. Just so. that mm. front half is just like it's exciting. goals yeah. every De Bruyne yeah. and Telemans are going to be setting them up. But as Mark has mentioned. Trossard. Uh, they, but actually, that's what I was going to say. You did say worried about their defense. They yeah. scored 22 and only conceded four in qualifying. So I know they're old. You've got uh, Fayez, you've got Vertong Vertonghen is so slow. That's yeah, well, well, Fayez got relegated with Leicester. Mm. Although just come back up. Same as Castagna on the right. Yeah. I don't. Th I, don't I think Castagne is still a good. Courtois player. will be in goal though. Yeah, yeah. Courtois, Courtois is one hundred percent going to be in this goal. This one, I don't know why they haven't got Courtois because he hadn't come there. back from injury by this time. That this thing that we've got was done before the Champions League final. Okay, but they were really good in uh, qualifying. Six wins, two draws. I think they'll be right up there and going to make a really deep run in this tournament. Yeah. They, they on paper they always have a good squad and then they crumble a little bit. But I think this is the this is the time unless they've got things behind the scenes. As oh, hold on. <laughs> He's been <laughs> Courtois has been admitted from the final squad. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> really? Because he hasn't been playing. Has he been? He hasn't been playing. Has behind he? the scenes? Maybe? Is there more behind the scenes stuff like the World Cup? Maybe that's wild. Oh, this is gonna. Yeah, well, that's just natural assumption that he'd be in there. Yeah. But I was just like, hold on. I reckon I saw something last night. So he's not even the backup keeper. Nope. That is outrageous. Yeah. There's a behind the scenes. Uh, Why every major tournament? There's always something dodgy. Because he hooked up with Kevin De Bruyne's ex. 
Is that what? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I legit. Know. I was gonna say, don't put that in the air. Yeah. In the air like, yeah. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne's ex cheated on uh, girlfriend. Like ex cheated on. Oh, gossip today. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Belgium, the Chelsea boys. That is l- uh, giving me less confidence. <laughs> I still think they should go deep in the tournament just because of Lukaku and De Bruyne. Yeah. But but if there's stuff behind the scenes, and that's not watch good. out for this bench, by the way. Yeah, oh, this I'm great. telling you, like this bench is going to be Mangala, Witzel, Bakayoko on the bench. Yeah. Who's rumored to go to Arsenal? Yes. Watch out. Yeah. Because he, is he also Watch rumored to Chelsea out. like every Arsenal player? <laughs> yeah, everyone we he's, want. He looks like he looks like Jer- he's like exactly like Jeremy Doku, but looks yeah. better. And, but, but he's and his price is way lower. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Doku that's like yeah. So here's Vay and wingers like I don't know Noni Madueke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting excited for next season. When's that start? Oh, about 80 days. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I'm going to Slovakia now. Belgium uh, are going to top this group. Tin Tin Kit gets a tin. Yes, gets, that's definitely gets a tin. Gets a tin and a half. Uh, all right, Slovakia, they won technically in 1976 with Czechoslovakia when the- Stats guy starting a civil war once Yeah, that's again. what I almost said that before. <laughs> but they did win in 1976 out in the group stage in the last Euros in 2020. Well-organized defense, but they just don't boast enough stars. We've talked about a few teams already uh, in this. They just got a lot of guys that I don't even know, like compared to some of them. They're not in the big leagues, this Slovakian team, which is a little bit of a worry. They were really solid, yeah, in defense, but- I don't know. They're second in qualifying campaign behind Portugal, but Portugal smashed them. They're just not going to be right up there. I think they're probably going to be third in this group, I'd say. I'm just going to have a quick look at the, the uh, rankings. Yeah, I'd say probably third in this group. So, Slovakia, uh, who else have you got? Have you guys got any input on Slovakia? Slovakia will finish last. Do you think group. they'll finish last? I'm predicting it, yeah. yeah. I think Romania They've got nothing off the bench. Like they got yeah. Robert Mack, who plays Sydney FC. Oh, is that who it was? I right. assume so. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. Yeah, he, he's really solid. He could probably start in this team. He's been really good form for Sydney FC, but I don't think they have enough goal scoring. Uh, yeah. Let's pressure. be honest. Apart from Belgium, this group isn't great. No, it's a very, it's a, it is a very poor group. There's so, always a sort of a slightly average group, but that's the thing. This is where it could create a bunch of it, fun. It's like, yeah, we have a chance of getting be close through games. Here. Yeah. I think that, I think uh, Slovakia will have a lot of close games, but probably third or fourth in the group. Then I'm going to Romania quarterfinals in 2000, but they've struggled since in the group stages in recent tournaments, six wins, four draws, but had the easiest qualifying group. They do rely on uh, Dragusin for that star power, attacking threat on the corners. Uh, But other than that, again, they just don't have enough uh, attacking prowess. Like this Slovakian team where maybe a couple of guys off the bench that can provide some pace, but they're going to be parking the bus, I think, against Belgium, possibly against Ukraine and things like that, Romania. But just, I'm not sure about these ones. You've got five euros appearance, pretty experienced. But yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to score too many goals. Is that what you guys are thinking? Yeah, this is probably the the easiest group. It is, yeah. For well, Belgium. for Belgium to roll through. For yeah. Belgium, yeah. yeah. All right, I'll finish off with Ukraine. Uh, three Euros appearances. Marcus is excited for one reason, one Zinchenko. reason. Zinchenko. The GOAT, not Zinchenko. <laughs> Mikhailo Mujic. The player of the tournament. <laughs> he definitely won't be the player of the tournament. Uh, I think he needs to prove, uh, Mujic, that he's going to provide on the world stage. I think they have a chance of finish second in this group if he can score a lot of goals. Zinchenko is obviously a great player as well. He'll invert into midfield. He'll start, yeah, he'll yeah, start yeah. In, in a midfield. They'll, play, they'll play Mikolenko. Yeah. He's yeah. been really good for Everton. But in terms of, I'm looking at this group, other than Belgium, I looked at the other teams, probably not some exciting players. Mujic has the ability to take over games. Yep. Zinchenko, once you put him in Zinchenko can dominate on the ball he easily could as well so I you're, not asking, you're not asking him to defend as much which has mm-hmm. been one of his main weaknesses at Arsenal but the thing yep. is when you need to get someone into the <coughs> game to try and pick a pass out or something like that, that's where Zinchenko is at his best he's very creative yep. and he can bob up and score a goal yep yep they had some uh, really competitive games against England and Italy as well I think they got a draw in there and then pushed England Italy right to the 90th plus uh, five minutes so I think they're going to be okay I'm going to put them as second I know yeah. uh, the odds I think are leaning Lunar towards Romania. Well, who what was, was Real Madrid keeper for yes. a very long time. Yeah, yeah. so he's a, he's a really solid Rob. player. They've just got a lot more stars than Romania and Slovakia, I think. So I'm going to put them second and then Belgium, obviously, first. Yeah, I what agree. You, lads? Same? I agree with you. Belgium and then Ukraine, or you could change yeah, Belgium it Belgium and Ukraine. Yeah, I think that's pretty easy. Uh, what have we got next? Group F, Marcus? Group F, yeah. Well, we talked about that being an easy group. This is probably an even easier group for Portugal. they got their sixth ranked in the world. they got Czech Republic, Georgia, and Turkey. Ooh. Czech Republic, Czech Republic uh, 36th. Too, Georgia 75th, Turkey 40th. So we'll just kick it off with Portugal. That's what everyone wants to hear about. Yep. One time winners, obviously, in 2016. Ronaldo's prime. Ronaldo's prime. Yep. They were knocked out in uh, by Morocco in the most recent World Cup. Uh, Robert, since then, Roberto Martinez is now the manager. So Ooh. he was the manager, if you remember him. Mm-hmm. He was at uh, uh, Wigan. He was at Everton. Yep. Yep. All those sort of like lower mid-table Premier League clubs. 
Um, but again, they're another smoky. I think they can, honestly, I think they could go all the way. I love the squad. That it might, may or may but, not be my winner at the end of the year. Uh, but does the Cristiano Ronaldo still have it? I think that'll... I don't reckon he starts. We, we, you don't reckon he starts? We were the, talking about this this morning. We were talking about this because when we used to do... Uh, the World Cup show and Gonzalo Ramos started a lot of games and was scoring for fun. I mm. think he might start a few games and Ronaldo was having a big sook crying on the, on the sidelines yeah. when uh, Gonzalo Ramos came on. I think they might rotate and for like certain teams no. where but Ronaldo... Can, the thing is you can even play Diego Jota up top, you yeah. can play Gio yeah. Felix up top. They've got so much depth this Man, team. Man, Neves is on the bench as well. This is ridiculous. It's, it's an awesome team. Really good squad. Yeah. Oh, yeah Rafael this... Liao is in yeah. amazing form. And they've got a really kind draw as well mm -hmm. if yeah. they top this and then go to the knockouts. Yeah. Uh, but look, they, they were disappointing the last Euros. They got knocked out by Belgium, mm -hmm. who weren't like... They were flying as well, yeah. Uh, but look, I love this squad. I think they can go all the way. And uh, what, do you, what do you guys reckon? You obviously reckon they can. Yeah, I, I'm going to say later that they're probably going to be my winners just because of that depth. I think each game they're going to rotate their attack a little bit. Why like, would like you said. rotate? You rotate play like your best team. I'm saying I think Jota when they need a bit more pace up front. But that's also you just bring Jota on yeah. as a sub. You can mm. bring on uh, Felix as a sub. Yep. You, if you need to play the dark arts, you bring on Pepe. Yeah. 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 Like, 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 it just it's, it's so strong out wide. They got so much flair. Yeah, Bruno Fernandez, Palinha, Ruben Dallas Neves, been Fatinha, good this yeah. year. in mid midfield. Yeah, Shao Cancelo is, is excellent. Nuno Mendes plays for PSG. Yeah, I think right up there with the long story short, depth. great depth. They're good. Yeah, yeah, they're very good, and they will trounce this group. And we'll move to Czech Republic, who yep. are actually one time winners. Oh, there you go. Really? So they finished. Oh yeah, the Czech are yeah. They finished sixth. Last time out in the tournament, so a really good tournament for the Czech. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Previously, I think Patrick Schick was the top goal scorer in I Euro 2020 him, yeah. with Cristiano Ronaldo. Yep. Uh, so those two added again in the group stage, but it's a very defensive squad. Uh, they're going to play five at the back, very defensive minded midfielders in that squad. Uh, so it could be a bit of a rough tournament for uh, the Czech Republic, although you probably fancy them to finish second in this group. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, scoring enough goals is a big issue. And Again, they'll have to get on the score sheet first and then they'll just sit back Yep. Uh, probably for the remainder of the tournament. They always, yeah, like you like you mentioned here, they do pretty well at this tournament. So I, I, don't, I don't mind them in this group. I, yeah, like you said, though, they're going to have to sit back and defend a lot. But against Turkey and who else is in the group, Georgia, they can, they can score a few goals at least. Yep. So, yeah. But although Turkey, who we'll move on to now, yep. again, a sort of... You always expect good things, probably the last two major tournaments from Turkey and they haven't really delivered to, to yep. what we'd expect. Uh, the group stage finished in the previous two Euros. Uh, Ennis Unal was going to be the, their big player, but he's injured for this tournament. He yeah. was doing great at Bournemouth when he was on loan. Yeah, that's right. He's, yeah. he's now permanent, permanently at Bournemouth. Yep. Uh, so we'll see him in the Premier League in the future seasons. But there's just more Turkish players in the, the top leagues in the world yep. um, yeah, yeah. at the moment. So, again, a lot of it is experience building, but you've got ex uh, – Experienced plays in that squad still. So you uh, so yeah. yeah, he uh, was great for Leicester. Leicester. Yep. Uh, Chal Chalahoglu, um, who obviously plays at Inter Milan. Mm -hmm. um, so they got they got definitely got some players in here, but they could progress as the third place finisher again Ooh. if they don't finish second. You think this might be the third because place? it's a less competitive group. There's points on offer. Yeah, and more. Yeah, gold. Is it go by goal difference as well? That third place. It like, depends yeah. on like points wise. Points, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but lastly, Georgia, they're just happy to be here. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, first time ever in a major oh. tournament having not been part of the Soviet Union. Yep. Um, Barat Shelia is the obvious threat he is on the a left beast. wing. Yeah, I love watching um, him. For, he obviously plays at Napoli. Yep. He may leave. He may leave, but he was a little bit quieter from two seasons ago when they won the league, yep. but he was still fantastic. Same with Ossiman. Mm. Same with Ossiman. Same, same. Yep. Um, they're obviously just going to play on the counter attack. Yeah. Five Use the, the pace. back. Yep. They actually finished fourth in their group and then they played Luxembourg and and beat Greece on penalties to qualify. That's right. I'm a big Luxembourg guy. <laughs> yeah. <I am. laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> but it's a tricky group for them. One on, one on debut or Wagga by seven lengths made me a boatload of money. Oh, I mean the country, not the horse. Oh, right? there's a horse. Uh, I didn't know there was a horse. Uh, <laughs> trained by Tim Donald. But again, they're just happy to be a part of the tournament. So hopefully they just get some good experience and kick a couple goals. Woo. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Score a couple Georgia. goals. All right, so, so who, are we, who are we going top two? Portugal, obviously. Top. Portugal and oh, Turkey. Turkey. Oh, you going Turkey? I'm going Czech Republic. Been really good at uh, Euro, so why not? Second. All right. Let's get into the big calls oh, of the tournament. All right. Let's start off with who will be your surprise packet of the tournament, Stats Boy? 
Uh, surprise packet of the tournament. I've, I've looked at the wrong thing there. Hungary. I didn't mind their... Uh, I think they could be that third place qualifying. They push for the, pushing for second because yeah. I'm a little bit worried uh, being a Scottish fan. But you've got Sobers like I think they're really good in defense as they showed in the qualifiers. And I think they could, they could shock a few, uh, yeah, few big teams. So why not Hungary? I'm going with Serbia for pure firepower reasons. They can score a lot of goals, <laughs> yeah, but they can also bit. pre-game just be standing in the dugout and just be like... Intimidation Oi. factor. I'm going to smash you. <laughs> yeah. Simple as that. I like that. Well, I, I actually agree with you as well. I've gone, I've gone Serbia because I think they like they got a tough sort of group. So they'll finish like if they finish third, they might not progress as a third place finisher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same goes with Denmark because they were really bad in the World Cup. It's just whether they can yeah. back it up. Yeah. Yep. Fair. All right. Let's get to let down to the tournament. I'm going Croatia. Those old bodies. Father time. <laughs> he is unbeaten, ladies and gentlemen. And father time will get Croatia this tournament. They oh, are done. I think they'll be Oof. all right, Croatia. You, you the same? I've, I've also gone Croatia. Oh. Again, I think they depends if they finish above Italy or not yeah. um, in that group. And that's why I've gone Croatia or Italy is the letdown of the tournament. Yep, yep. Stats, man. Uh, I'm going Netherlands. I think a lot of people uh, think they're going to be really call. good. As Marcus mentioned, you've got Weghurst up top. I don't think they have enough firepower to score. They're going to not concede many goals, but I think they might have a, a few draws because they sh- should have scored two goals instead of one or something like that. So I think they might, they'll make it out of the group stage, but then yep. they'll struggle to progress after that. So I'm going to go Netherlands. All right, and let's get to the breakout player of the year, mm-hmm. a.k.a. who Chelsea will pay $150 <laughs> million for come the start of August. Marcus. Of course, we already mentioned both of these boys, but Buongiorno and the Italian squad sent yep. half of his minutes and Johan Bakayoko uh, for the Dutch. Yep. Uh, I'm going with Zaya Emery. I know he's already at PSG, but this no, could... Portug- Portugal's. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with Zaya Emery. I already know that he's at PSG, but it's also like he comes out and just goes, I'm really goddamn good. Yeah. Now, now that Mbappe's left, let me take that spot. Uh, and then, of course, Benjamin Sesko up front. Uh, I know that the <laughs> Slovenians won't go through, but hey, he'll score a bunch of goals and they'll be like, dear God, Arsenal, please buy him before the 14th. <laughs> Classic Arsenal man over there. Well, uh, no, I want to keep this fees down. I know you guys don't care about how much you pay across in Chelsea. No, At true. Arsenal, we try to be a sustainable model. Fair enough. Forward. Yeah. yeah, we're not even a club anymore. We're just a, <laughs> a business. We're just a, we're just a money lot. <laughs> no, anyway, uh, my breakout player, uh, I know he's already broken out, so I'll say another one. Florian Wirtz. I was going to punch you if you yeah. But he hasn't broken out for his country is what I'm saying. He hasn't Dude. broken out for Germany. He hasn't for Germany. He hasn't. I'll look up his stats for Germany. How many yeah, goals but... He's got. He's never. Look, he hasn't scored for Germany. Look at the season he just had. All right, I was, was going to say another one as like well. Like Cody Gakpo broke out of the World Cup. Broke out, His market broken. value was 130 million. Ah, that's <laughs> nothing. That's 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 a... Anyway, I'll say another one just to make you guys. Hey, happy. I tell you who's going to have a really good tournament: Kylian Mbappe. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? Yeah. I've heard of that guy. Yeah. No, I mean for his country. He hasn't starred for his country yet. Is what I'm trying to say. The other one I'm going to say is Billy Gilmore. I wanted to get a Scottish player in there. I think he's going to have a really good tournament. He'd broken out by now. Billy Gilmore would be playing for a better team than Brighton. I, I, he's. He's a very good player. I was, I was actually moves. upset when he left Chelsea. I yeah, think he's a very good player. He play. He's going to score a few bangers, get a lot of assists, Billy Gilmore, in that midfield for Scotland. All right, who wins? French. Oui, oui. Yeah. Yeah, je suis allé sur le fleur. Lift that trophy. Oh, you think you want to do a leaper? Hell really? yeah, I have. Get <laughs> ready for my, <laughs> getting ready for my holiday next year. Uh, yeah, I think the French get this done. So that, you've been doing do a leaper? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah I said It's that. the joke that yeah. we used to say, yeah, like, do a lingo, do a leaper. Uh, yeah. The way yeah, I said it was probably it. a bit yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. I wish. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the French will win this tournament. They are absolutely stuck. They play the best football of any team in this tournament is the French. They usually played in tournaments. Historically, they do. Other teams like England and the Netherlands have a habit of choking. Yeah, I've got I've got uh, France and Germany playing off in the final. Ooh. France winning. Yeah, I've got yeah. So my runners up. France. So Ooh. my runners up. I've got Germany as well, but potentially the Dutch. Oh, I'm going to go. I had my bracket worked out. It's that, that that's the I've, semi-final I've bracket. Yeah. yeah. Is got, it possible for so I'm going Portugal? Yeah. Can Portugal and Germany play each other in the final? No. Uh, Portugal no. France. Is that possible? Yes, Portugal yeah. friend. All right, so I'll go. I'll go Portugal as my number one. I think their depth is amazing. That this is also we're all assuming that the teams we are selecting are to top their groups. That's yes. how it all works. Yeah. Out. So I, yeah, I'm saying Portugal to top their group, and then they're going to yep. win the whole thing against France. I think obviously France are going to be right up there. You both both have tipped them, but this depth in this uh, Portuguese team, as Marcus mentioned, is unbelievable. You, you got Neves what? off the bench, could score a banger. Jota literally will provide a lot of run off the bench. I think Ramos might start a few games, and pro- he was awesome when he was way younger at the uh, World Cup. So. Yeah, you can also really predict Germany to be your runners up, like mm. because home, it's tournament football. We don't know how everything's going to go. Home nation, home nation. I'm 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 relying very heavily on the home nation yes. lifting and peaking for this. After in the, okay. in this, I've got, I've got Germany playing Portugal in the semi final and just purely home nation vibes. I'm Germany and Netherlands, yeah, okay. with a Tony Cruz banger. But Portugal, I wouldn't be surprised they yep. make the team. Yeah, final. I'm very excited by this team, so I'm picking them to win. All right, that is us done and dusted for our Euro 2024 preview. That tournament coming your way. 
matter of days. It's going to be absolutely awesome. We will be recapping, reviewing, previewing all throughout the tournament. We've got to figure out what our schedule is. I'm in the process of working out that at the moment, but it's going to be a bunch of fun throughout the tournament. Make sure you get around our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. We'll put up some reactionary posts. Marcus will try and annoy everyone like he usually does on cricket today because <laughs> it actually works. It gets yes. an audience. We'll do that. Of course, on YouTube, please subscribe. Please like us and leave a comment on all of our videos. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. But boys, good stuff. Well done. Go Portugal. Oh, Go it's a terrible kid still stats guy. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Good stuff, Marcus. Shout out to social girl Spence behind the camera and Gerald Dinho. He doesn't qualify for the Euros because Gerald Dinho comes from Brazil, apparently, according to stats guy. <laughs> All right, we are done and dusted for the Euro 2024 preview. We'll catch you later on Football Today.